So what we're going to be doing today is preparing the osteotomy for the MIS-7 style of implant. The size is 11.5 in length by 3.75 millimeter diameter. It is a standard internal hex. What's unique about the implant is that it comes with a single-use final drill, which we'll be using. We'll also use the MIS drill stopper kit, the MIS surgical kit, and a WNH motor and handpiece. So to begin, first we need to use a marking drill to create the spot where we're going to drill our osteotomy. Next up, the two millimeter drill. I'm going to be using the drill stopper kit, which allows me to control the depth of the drill so that I will not drill too deeply. You can insert it that way, or if you prefer, using the kit itself. Next up, the 2.8 millimeter twist drill. This time I'll go without the drill stopper, meaning I have to pay attention to the depth markings on the sides of the drill. And finally, the drill included with the MIS-7 implant, single seal, sterile, final drill, designed for the exact specifications of the implant itself. I'll be placing the implant using a ratchet wrench and a long adapter. The seven implant comes attached with a fixture mount. As you can see, the implant is completely buried with only the fixture mount showing. We'll then release the fixture mount. The holding mount key goes into place in the fixture mount. That will prevent the implant from turning so that only the screw may turn. Using a hex driver, 0.05 inch, to remove the screw. Screw with fixture mount are removed, exposing the implant. You can then use the same hex driver to remove and insert the cover screw located on the opposite side of the implant packaging.
implant with cover screw. Finished. Okay.